consider any Swift UI view that needs a binding or a bindable property in order to work. So now you want to create a preview for this view. And of course it doesn't work because there is no input to your binding. The preview macro now has an additional macro that makes it possible to create state variables that you can pass into your preview. So you get started by creating a add previewable tag, and then you can create your add state var input equals ABC in this example. Or we could also start with zero. That makes a bit more sense with the logic that I have in a button. Essentially what this does, and I find this very interesting, this preview macro now creates a Swift UI view and all of these previewable states are added as states to your view struct. And everything that comes after these previewable states is added as the body property to the view struct. I found it very interesting to actually understand how these things are working. Let me zoom in a bit on the simulator here. And then now we can tap on the zero, it becomes one, becomes two, and so on. So this is just a simple button logic. Just wanted to show you that we now have the opportunity to create these previewable state variables inside of our Swift UI preview. Of course, this only works in Xcode 16, which is currently in beta. Make sure to subscribe for all of the other WWDC24 news videos.